Hey guys, we're going to week at the Gi course and today we're going to be doing the reverse omoplata from the turtle position. So last time we set up the crucifix and it's a lot of the similar entry here. We're in this position, I'm on my feet, always putting my weight on top of here. And so I'm grabbing the far wrist and now entering with my knee behind his armpit or behind his elbow here, right? Once I've done that, I've created this little pocket of air so I can connect my heel to my knee and catch his arm, right? In some scenarios, he will deliberately go to catch his arm around my near thigh here, right? And that's what we're looking for. If his arm is still on the other side, let's say catching around my far leg, usually then I will threaten with a little bit of an arm bar and that will make him want to change his mind, right? Now, once we have this caught, you'll see I'm always bringing my heel to my butt. So I'm squeezing around his forearm here so I can hold it as long as possible, as well as I'm bringing my other leg around the thigh tight to his elbow here. So I'm keeping it in place like this, right? So once I'm here, there's a couple of things actually before I start rolling that is super important. So it's uh, always making sure his arm is free from his body, right? If, let's you if you go up. So if he manages to bring this arm to his belly, you might be facing some challenges. So I rather sprawl back and remove his arm from his belly first and then start rolling first and then start rolling again. So if it's there tight, you're gonna bring it out first, tight now, now I can start rolling, okay? When I'm rolling here, I'm bringing my elbow to the same side as my legs are, right? And I'm gonna bring my heel tightly to my butt as I'm rolling here. And I'm gonna cross my arm over across his body so I can catch his far side here. So we're gonna go. There we go, super slow motion. So let's go back. So you will see we end up in this scenario here where my arm is blocking his head and his arm from coming up, right? So I wanna get there as fast as possible to stop him. As soon as I can put my weight on top of him here, I'll place my leg back behind me and you'll see I can bring my hips up and then bring my shin back to finish the shoulder lock. Okay, so let's go back. So let's go a little bit further now so we have some room. There you go. Um, knee comes in, I hook the arm, he grabs my near thigh, elbow to the floor. We have it. One last time. Yes, thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.